time for rock news on 101.1 WJRR, Orlando's rock station. Let's check in with Lynch and Taco and see which rockers are making the headlines for all the right and wrong reasons. 101.1 WJRR. All right, before we get into the rock news, reminder on this hour's uh, Rock the Bank keyword, it's cash, C-A-S-H, so we got about a half hour or so to enter that at WJR.com to be eligible for this hour's $1,000. Enter it there, cash at WJRR.com. And then if your phone rings next hour, answer it. I know I mentioned this yesterday, but I thought I'd, you know, since this is rock news, I'll bring it up. Um, Phil Lesh, Grateful Dead co-founder, passed away on Friday at the age of 84. Surrounded by his family and full of love, Phil brought immense joy to everyone around him and leaves behind a awesome legacy of music. Uh, his family shared um, in a post to his Instagram, uh, official cause of death has not been um, put out there, although he's had over the years. In 2015, he had diagnosed with bladder cancer, oh. underwent, underwent surgery to remove tumors, uh, he had previously survived prostate cancer and also underwent a liver transplant in 1998. So he'd been kind of through the medical ringer over the years. Made it to 84, though. Rest in peace, Phil. Um, the eighth installment of Joe Walsh's Vets Aid has been canceled. Why would they cancel such a great thing? Due to circumstances beyond the organizer's control. It was originally scheduled to happen November 11th at the UBS Arena in Belmont Park in New York. The event had a uh, pretty interesting lineup. Eric Church, Post Malone, Toto, and Cool in the Gang set to join Joe Walsh. Again, due to circumstances beyond the organizer's control, um, Walsh confirmed that it wasn't all bad news, though, saying that $400,000 will still be given to organizations that help New York and New Jersey veterans. Okay. In other... uh, Benefit shows Leonard Skinner planning a special hurricane relief show here in their home state of Florida. The band will part will uh, be part of the Rock and Support Bradenton Gulf Islands benefit concert that's going to be held in Palmetto on uh, November fifteenth. All proceeds will go to hospitality workers displaced by hurricanes Helene and Milton. Skinner frontman Johnny Van Zant said they were very happy to jump on board after getting the call. Definitely, dude. Good, good luck like that. Both Faith No More and Mr. Bungle canceled a whole slew of tour dates in 2021 and 2022 due to vocalist Mike Patton's ongoing mental health issues. Mr. Bungle eventually made it back to life, but Faith No More has still been missing in action, and it sounds like it's going to stay that way. Keyboardist Roddy Bottom briefly addressed the situation about Faith No More in a post saying that the band is, quote, kind of on a semi-permanent hiatus, unquote. Semi-permanent. So I, I don't expect any more Faith No More activity is how I decode that. What else we got happening here? Scorpions, who are celebrating their 60th anniversary in 2025, will do so. Uh, well, they've got a residency in Vegas next year, but they are also going to have a true 60th anniversary show in their hometown of Hanover, Germany, on July 5th with special guest Judas Priest. How cool would that be to see? Two of the titans of hard rock together celebrating the Scorpions' 60th anniversary. That's unbelievable. Wow. And you said that was in Germany, right? Germany, their hometown. Hanover, Germany. Um, After thinking it was uh, curtains for the Who, it does sound like uh, Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend have been chatting about uh, doing something next year. Don't be surprised if you see the Who out there uh, in some touring capacity have uh, you ever seen the who yeah i've told you this story i saw their first farewell tour there is a date here in orlando at the then tangerine bowl in 1982 i don't recall this story farewell tour in the first of several that they've done over the years yeah that was the show I, i've told you this story because that was the show where joan jett and the black hearts and the b-52s were the opening acts okay and both got booed off the stage yes joan jett got hit with a sneaker full of mustard and kept playing got to give her credit for that b-52s not as lucky um when they said we're taking you to planet claire whether you like it or not um 
the rain of garbage and debris became so intense the band had to leave the stage. I hate it when fans do that. We were there to see the Who, man. Come I understand that. B fifty twos and the Who. I, I, I appreciate the B fifty twos, but time and place. Yeah, time and place. You appreciate them on their own or with a different, right. similar band. Some other concert announcements to uh, be aware of. Alice Cooper will be back in Central Florida. His Too Close for Comfort tour continues with 2025 dates, including uh, February 6th, Hard Rock Live Orlando. So oh. that'll be happening. Those tickets will be going on sale Halloween day. Ghost will be back in Florida. Two Florida dates, July 12th, Tampa at Amelie Arena, July 13th, Caseya Center in Miami. All right. There you go. Some rock news for this week.